Oh yeah. She is definitely in heat. And he definitely wants to be with her. Hey friends, Jennifer here with Moreau Family Farm. My husband said that he had put Piper back with, I think, Zorro. Hopefully not Peter. But um, anyways, she's showing signs of being in heat. So <clears throat> all of the animals right now are in the paddock area. So I don't have to worry about anybody else getting out. As you can see, the cows are in here and stuff like that. And it's just Piper who's out in the pasture. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I know it's a really big area, but I am gonna let Zorro out into the pasture and um, hopefully they will do what they need to do in order to get bread. So um, Ruby was bred to Peter, I think, um, last month. So come here, Zorro. We'll see if he comes. Come on, Zorro. Hey, come on. Come on, Zorro. He's not quite sure what's going on. Hey, Gio. Hi, handsome. <laughs> oh, Gio, he's so funny. He's so young still. Hi, handsome boy. Hi, handsome boy. Hi. Hi. Here comes Zorro. Oh, you're so stinky. Come on. Zorro. Zorro. Not you. Not you, Peter. No. No. Get down. Get. 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 Hold on, guys. Uh, my gate is open. And Peter's being a pain in the butt. Stop it, Peter. I want Zorro. Zorro, come here. Peter, stop. I do not want Peter. Oh, okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> Piper has already been with Peter once and has had kids with him. And I know that the babies come out very light and actually they were a little on the harder, um, harder side to sell. They did have beautiful blue eyes though, however. So that was a plus. Stop it. Goat. So she's already been with Peter. We've already seen the babies. The babies came out white with very little black on them um, with beautiful blue eyes, but they were still a little on the harder side to sell. So I want to put her in with Zorro this time around. Um, I cannot put her with Geo. I mean, I can, technically I can, but Geo's not registered and Piper is registered. And she has really good genetic background that I don't want to put her with a buck that is not registered um, because the potential to get more money is greater when you you team them up with a good registered buck. So Zorro has an amazing genetic background. Um, and look, he's pawn and everything like he wants to get. Come on, Zorro. He doesn't understand what is going on, though. Come on, buddy. Look what I got. Come here, Zorro. And she's flagging her tail. I'm surprised she's not up here. So Zorro's acting crazy for her. And uh, Peter's really not showing her any attention. He's just wanting to bother me. See, now you guys can see Peter's horn. He was disbudded as a baby, but they did a horrible job. And... Every now and then we've got to come in and like this one's starting to kind of go into a skull a little bit. It probably needs to be trimmed. Um, unfortunately, that's just something that we're going to have to deal with the whole time that we have him. But he's a good boy, so he's very studly with his little peepee -pee face. <laughs> Aren't you? Look at you. You're such a big boy. <laughs> he's cute. Even when he's dirty, he's cute. And he's a mess. Look, oh, he really just wants attention. He just wants attention, don't ya? And then Zoro, he's still fairly younger. 
Um, he's a little over a year. And uh, his, his goatee keeps on getting pulled off. I don't know how or who's doing it or what, but um, go get her. Go get her. There you go. See her tail? How she's flagging? Yep, she's standing for him. I want to put Geo with Hope. Hope is Pebbles' little girl that we kept. The little blue-eyed white little girl. And she is not registered. And I just think Hope and Geo would be perfect together because neither one of them are registered. She's done now. But look, they almost have like the same spotting. They're the same size. They're so cute. She, I might, I think she might be even a little bigger than him, which is kind of funny. I really want Hope to go into heat so I can put Geo. And then Hazel, um, Hazel, the one to the right here. So Hope is to the left. Hazel's the one to the right. I want to put Hazel with Zorro. And then Bella. I want to put Bella um, with probably Peter. Yeah. I definitely want to put Bella with Peter. Because Zorro is Bella's dad. So we definitely don't want to put Bella with Zorro. And if you guys don't know, that's my little Bella. So Bella is Ruby's. This one, this one's Ruby. Hazel, Hope, Piper, Zorro. So now that you know everybody's names, hopefully you'll remember them. Let's look at these two. If you weren't pregnant before, you're definitely pregnant now, aren't you? Good gracious. You're so handsome, Zorro. You are just a handsome dude. Anyways, they're all sitting here watching what's going on. What's going on, huh, babes? This actually makes me really happy because my husband had told me that he bred her back in, oh gosh, I think it might have been August or September which obviously it was just like a month or two ago, but then that would have made them have their babies like in the coldest of the coldest month, like January. Um, let me do my math really quick. September, October, November, December, January, February. Well, yeah, so if she was bred in August, which I think is when he had told me, it would have been January. So now it'll be closer to March, which would be perfect. Little spring babies, by the time they're ready to go home, it'll be like, uh, halfway into April or even the beginning of May, which would be phenomenal. Um, actually it would actually, it would be in May. So that would be perfect baby time, perfect baby weather. That's why I'm really hoping that hope, oh my gosh, these guys are so cute. Are you guys besties? Are you two besties over there? Yeah, you guys are always together. So we've really grafted them together and made them like each other. They're in the same stalls at night and they have to tolerate each other. That's one of the things that's really cool when you know you get new babies on the farm and if they have not kitted around the same time, but they come from, cause Hazel came from a different farm. We, I honestly, I have to look back at my calendar. I cannot keep all these dates straight between pigs, goats, cows, it's too much for me. So anyways, she came from a different farm. I think they're only a few weeks apart um, and they are now obviously just the absolute best of friends. And Bella is a little bit younger. Um, and the three of them are actually in the same stall, but they all get along really well for the most part. Now that Bella is getting a little bit bigger, She's really starting to hold her own. So they're doing really well. I'm gonna get Zorro, but Zorro's, Zorro's still at it. So I don't know. I mean, I am pretty sure that she is pregnant. Um, 
like not like, this is it you know like it's gonna start from this point on you want to go back in with the girls you want to stay out or do you want to go back in what do you want to do piper yeah she's done see that's her sign of all right i don't want to play no more play time is over hold on uh, uh, uh. Um, how am I going to do this? this is Zorro does not like to be caught. So. Come on. And he does not want to be bugged right now. So. Right. Hopefully I can catch Zorro and get him back in with the boys. That's going to be the challenge. Zoro, you want some food? That's the only way to really catch these guys. And come on, Zoro. Come on, handsome boy. Come on, baby. Come on. Look what I got. Zoro, Zoro, come on. Ole. No. <laughs> I guess my Spanish is not good enough for him. You like our bridge? That's our bridge. It works. I am going to, he still wants Piper. I am gonna go get a leash and a bucket of food and get him back to where he belongs. Hopefully, that is my goal anyways. We shall see how this goes. So, just gonna get some good old, can you see? Oh yeah, just some sweet feed. We'll give him a little extra for all of his hard endurance work. Oh, let's not forget the the leash. Because, well, you know what? Will I need a leash? I might not need the leash, but I'm going to grab one just so I don't have to come back again. And let's see. See how this works out. I think it's going to work just fine. Just fine. Bella was trying to get out. And she's way too young. And with this guy being cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs like he is right now, I do not want to risk. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Good boy. That's a good boy. Come on, boys. Look. Come on. Hey, look. Come on. Come on, boys, look. Come on, come on. It's over here, come on, Zora. There you go. Everybody's gonna get upset with each other. Come on, Chubbs, get you some food. There you go. I'll tell you, the last few days, or I should say the last couple weeks, we've seen a lot of deer back here. So I told you guys originally that my husband saw two bucks and two does. And that was, oh, that was probably about a month ago. And then my daughter, like last week or a week and a half ago, she saw them also. Now, the only thing that I've been seeing is a single doe. Um, there was one time that I saw two does, which I got on camera for you guys. Um, but yeah, it's just been a single doe that's been coming through. And yesterday, um, I was sitting in my kitchen. I was washing some dishes in my kitchen and I was looking out the window. It's so nice to be able to see my backyard through my kitchen window, through my sunroom and out the big windows of my sunroom. So I was looking back and I saw a bunch of legs. Um, it was probably like, oh, if I have to guess, somewhere like right in through this area here where it's kind of more cleared right in through there and i'm like wait a minute is that on our side of the fence or the other side of the fence because you know my cows they have kind of deer-ish type legs especially um abby because she's so small but yeah i came out and i looked and i saw two deer back here they were both does to my knowledge fact i have never seen a buck in the wild I'm hoping one day I get to see one. That would be really, really cool. 
It's kind of upsetting that my eight-year-old has, or my nine, my nine-year-old has seen one before I have. <laughs> but that's okay. It's a good experience for her. But that's it, guys. So that fun excitement is over. It is early morning, so there is no need to feed anybody or... Um, the only other thing I'm going to do is let these babies out, although they see me with a bucket in my hand. Look. They see the bucket, and they think that it is feeding time. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to get out. I'm going to take my bucket off. show you guys how I do this. So basically, the shorter one comes in first, then the longer one, and then kind of doing this the hard way. Then we just kind of lash it in through here, and then we clip this on here and that's it so now our paddock is open to our pasture and they are free to go wherever they like now i'm going to put all this stuff away and of course lady's upset because i'm not letting her go play but she's fine she doesn't need to go play right now she gets a little rambunctious um when her and sergeant are together out in pasture they really antagonize the cows not so much the goats they really don't bug the goats at all but when it comes to the cows oh my gosh they just act like buffoons to be real um, and look they're all still they didn't even want they went out in pasture and then they're like oh wait aren't you gonna feed us let me see what time it is it's only 10 30. It's not early, early morning, but they already ate for sure. And I don't give them their afternoon snack till like around one o'clock. So they're just going to have to wait. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing our breeding program. <laughs> Sorry, there's probably too much on YouTube. Hopefully I don't get flagged for this video. Um, but it's animal nature, you guys. I mean, that's what happens. They have National Geographics. That's on cable TV and a lot worse on cable TV. So I don't know why I can't watch goats breeding. But anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.